Here at Hey Future, we were curious to find out what innovations, what ideas have emerged as a result of the current uh, situation of the current pandemic. And we did a research, we have picked some of them and now we want to share them with you so that you can draw some inspiration and maybe pick from them some ideas that might benefit you or the areas where you are activating at the moment. So let's start. The first one that caught my attention is called Table for One. This is an open air restaurant which consists literally from one table and one chair placed on a field close to a kitchen from where the cook will deliver you the food in a basket using a pulley system. The idea came to a couple from Sweden that were thinking how they can keep the physical distance while having a dinner with their families and they were using the window from their kitchen to deliver the food outside. And so their intention is to really be the only or the first restaurant in the world that will ensure 100% um, coronavirus uh, protection. There is a model, you can pay what you want. And uh, here's their website, they have it also in English. Uh, here is the setup, how, you, how it looks like, the menu. Uh, you can find and also what I find interesting is the invitation of other people who are interested into offering a similar experience in their locations, in their communities, they can apply here and uh, try themselves out. I hope that uh, this idea will flourish. Another initiative it's called We Are One and this will be the global field festival that we will be experiencing this year. So. No Cannes Festival anymore separately, no Carlo Vivari, no London or um, Berlin. All these uh, film festivals are uh, bringing their resources together in order to um, create these global initiatives and offer for a period of 10 days uh, for us, uh, for free, all the, the movies that we can watch on uh, YouTube and this is how their uh, website or YouTube channel looks like. You can subscribe so that you don't miss a notification. Uh, pay attention, it starts on May 29th and it will last till June 7th. They're doing also fundraising and the money that they will collect will be uh, donated uh, to some initiatives that are meant to bring a relief to the coronavirus impact. Another initiative, it is about an innovative system uh, to clean the N95 masks. It's again coming from a couple. Uh, this time couple is from Columbus, Ohio. She's a nurse and he is an engineer uh, while working in the hospital and facing the scarce resource uh, for the masks. Um, they were talking together and came up to the idea, why don't we wash them? instead of waiting for them to be produced and delivered. They came up with this idea of cleaning them, decontaminating by putting into a container, keeping uh, them there for two and a half hours while them being treated with uh, hydrogen peroxide for this amount of time. And the good idea is that you can reuse the masks 20 times and you can decontaminate them 20 times. Another initiative is a platform that sustainably connects the vendors with the consumers. And this idea comes from Colombia, which was brought to life by two influencers who felt pity for a fisherman that can no longer sell uh, the fish on an open market that has been closed because of the coronavirus. And the money he was normally getting during the uh, selling of the fish was the only income to sustain his family. They posted the information on the social media and um, said that this fisherman is able to sell uh, this fish and uh, following all the standards and the hygiene uh, requirements. And so this is how the Merca Local, this is the application uh, that came as a result of this initiative. And many vulnerable street vendors can post their offerings uh, and um, ensure that at least they can keep uh, their uh, daily income as before. Another initiative, it is in the virtual care area and uh, this time we're talking about an eyewear store from UK which is called Ace and Taste 
what they're doing is uh, they offer services to the people who are interested to get a consultation about a pair of glasses. They can do so by scheduling face-to-face -face meetings with the personnel from the store and also what the store is doing, they offer virtual try-ons of different glasses frames. Having a virtual try-on uh, using 3D, it's nothing new, but uh, it just uh, speeded up its implementation and um, uh, I'm curious to see if people are really trying on how much they are consuming uh, out of uh, these experiences and additional uh, added value that they have implemented with this uh, technology. Another initiative goes into the direction of uh, mental health. Here I have handpicked two of them. One is a psychologist and psychotherapist from Germany that want to bring through life cards and through some statements and codes, bring to the people a positivity during the day. You can see on their website that you can download these um, cards in a PDF format and then you can combine them uh, in a way that matches your reality and your perception so that you can uh, feel better about the current situation and find the inspiration during the day. Another idea also in mental health comes from a UK-based uh, design expert and future researcher. Uh, her name is Amy Sellers and uh, she came up with uh, the idea to offer a pop-up positive newsfeed. Because we are fed up with negative information and news from the news providers around the globe due to the current situation and also before that, but now it's like feels like it's even higher and the consumption of news has increased. Her intention is to bring to the people positive news stories uh, which you can read listen and watch towards some uplifting, inspiring and positive perspectives in your day. Another one goes into the direction of collaboration and uh, which is a prerequisite for the companies to sustain themselves and to really uh, create important gains in the future. And this time we're talking about a company which is called Round 21. They are handcrafting ping pong rackets and they are collaborating now with different artists who are creating art and the art can be placed on these rackets. 10% uh, out of the income will be spent on supporting the artists that are suffering from uh, the impact of the coronavirus. The last two ideas. One is coming from Finland. Helsinki City hosted a virtual gathering uh, and concerts to celebrate May Day in a virtual format. They have collaborated with a virtual reality company which is called Zoan, who has created Helsinki in a virtual format. The participants were able to design their own avatars and um, go to this um, uh, concert, virtual concert that um, Helsinki was offering digitally and uh, be close to the stage, enjoy the music. What was Surprising for me is that 12% from the entire population have joined, has joined this concert. This just shows the capacity and the openness of the people to use uh, their existing resources and technology to uh, take part in this kind of initiatives. And the last one is Cine Colombia that launches balcony cinemas in different neighborhoods in um, Bogota. People now can watch the movies, can watch soap operas from their balconies, entertain themselves um, from time to time. The movies are being projected on the big buildings and um, it seems that it has been embraced by the population because um, many people are implementing these uh, uh, cinema experiences into their daily routines now. If you're curious to find out more about the initiatives and the innovations that I talked right now about, then you can find the link to more information in the description of the video on YouTube. And um, tell us if you liked this kind of content, tell us what further content you would like to hear from us. We would be happy to make it possible and bring these ideas to life. Thank you and uh, take care everybody.